hello my name is david flavi and i want to start by saying thank you to all my subscribers because now i have 30 subscribers i want to thank everybody for leading me to here and i want to thank god that i have 10 subscribers and as a normal video will start we will start with some kind of showcasing so this is a color combination look that i just created some time ago and you can make a flush piston door a door is here right here but you have to get the right colors into it before it can open so my right color is that diamond over there and when that diamond is there the door opens this is really really cool and i love this idea and the rest on behind this is quite simple so i'm going to show you how to build it okay we're going to start this tutorial by making the framework which is five blocks out like this five blocks out like this five blocks like this and some blocks like this so you get some kind of tree by tree framework going on here for the color combination lock so you put a button over here and put a bit of redstone going like this so you put some blocks from the inside here and start placing in your pistons so two pistons will go here two pistons will go right around here then some pistons will go here and some pistons will go here now this is all the pistons in set in place now you put two repeaters here then connect it to the redstone and open this floor you have to place some redstone here then put a repeater down here then put some redstone up over here and this where you now start to put this repeater set to two ticks two ticks the both repeater the two repeaters you don't actually need this repeater over here so you can put a repeater and um, block in front of it and some redstone needs to be here some redstone will be there just checking up my build yep they put a block on top of this repeater which is has to be glass they put glass here and glass you put redstone here and glass here and you put redstone here then you cover these blocks on top you put some redstone going up like this on top of these pistons and fill in the blocks over here then you put two blocks on top of the pistons and two repeaters facing into it and make them four ticks now all you have to do to wrap up this build is just covering the floor then let's have a little tester on this build cover up everything everything here is to be covered and you should get something like this smooth edge now let me place in the blocks That's looking good. And two blocks here. And this is the whole build done. All I need is the cauldrons. Now this is what you do. You put cauldrons all at the back of here. 
all these blocks should be individual blocks like different colors to make the color combination lock and you put cauldrons right over here the cauldron should be here cauldron should be here and cauldron should be here and only one should be filled with water and I choose it to be this one so now you can put on comparator which knows that there's water inside that cauldron I put redstone here to turn that off and that is the whole build done except for the flush piston door so I'm going to get my blocks in and we'll finish this build now what I'll do is fill in these blocks all these blocks here so I'm going to do some kind of time lapse kind of thing now this is where we're going to make the flush piston door so you have blocks going out like this then you place two pistons sticky pistons facing this direction and you place two other pist four pistons facing this direction and you place a block here redstone on it and a trail of redstone going and um, like this with repeater and some redstone dust here and here and you place blocks like this with redstone here and blocks like this now to test whether it's working You connect this redstone directly to the piston door and in theory that should do it So as you saw there, the door has opened up to us and we can now walk through. Now if you have plenty of these things going on, as you can see, if I press this button, this redstone turn on, leaving it powered. So if I had others going on like this, with a redstone touch here. And even if I get this one right, the redstone will still be powering this. So I have to get all of them right. So you can build this over and over, all over your base. And one last thing you have to do. So someone can jump up and see the cauldron really well. You have to put stained glass there. And probably a block in the middle shouldn't damage anything yeah block in the middle and some stained glass will do so you put the glass here and this is the whole build done so thank you everybody for your time this has been really great please subscribe to my channel for more and like my videos thank you everybody for your time and goodbye